Hello, Tim the Minnesota firefighter with the arm form of melanoma cancer with another update. It's been over a year since a biopsy confirmed my initial diagnosis of malignant melanoma. Over the past 15 months, I've ridden an emotional roller coaster of testing and confirmation for cancer, followed by discussions with doctors to determine the best course of action in establishing a treatment plan. So here we are in early 2020, and I find myself doing really well and continuing to have great results. Over the past year, my treatment has gone really well. Last year, I did not have any idea what to expect as I began this journey. I continue to be amazed and so very grateful for the progress I've experienced. Advances in immunotherapy and how we approach melanoma has completely changed the game. Until recently, melanoma that had metastasized had a very poor prognosis, with very few patients surviving longer than five years. Like all forms of cancer, your chances are always better with early detection and treatment. Even as recently as last week, I watched an interactive medical education webinar on the treatment of stage 1 and 2 melanoma. It appears the word is getting out to the medical community in terms of the advances in immunotherapy and how that applies to melanoma, but sometimes change comes slowly. That reinforces my belief that I was and continue to be truly blessed to have found myself referred to the melanoma group at Mayo Clinic. For me, the cancer journey has almost settled into a routine. I get scheduled for imagery at the start of each quarter with a follow-up visit with Mayo Clinic. I tell my boss I'm scheduling a spa day with a set of glamour shots. Uh, I'm going to need to take the day off in order to, to do this uh, trip to Rochester. That means that I'm completing a PET CT uh, with review by oncology at Mayo and a follow-up by my primary oncologist at the Franchu Can Cancer Center of Methodist Hospital here in the Twin Cities. Although each successive patch scan has shown incremental improvement, uh, there continues to be activity highlighted at the base of my tongue and one of the lymph nodes in my neck. Uh, because of that, over the last six months, uh, my routine has included quarterly visits with an otolaryngologist, which most of us call the ear, nose, and throat doctor. We included this doctor because they're better suited for helping determine if there's a concern about the activity in my throat. Fortunately, it's been a, simply a matter of continuing to monitor that area. As of July, January 2020, I've completed five PET CTs, three MRIs, three ultrasounds, two ultrasound-guided needle biopsies, my tumor biopsy, and multiple physical examinations. It isn't much of an exaggeration to state that the past year has included having things shoved up my bottom and crammed down my throat more times than I would have ever imagined before this journey. On the other hand, this has given me a chance to turn inward and look inside of myself. Literally inside of myself. Uh, recent imagery uh, shows improvement over October of 2019, which was better than the July 2019 imagery. All indications are that I continue to show complete response to treatment. So once every four weeks, I continue to receive an infusion with 480 milligrams of nivulumab, which is better known by its trade name of Opdivo. I'm confident the treatment's working because my vitiligo continues. That indicates that my immune system is still actively seeking and attacking not only my pigmentation, but also any stray melanoma cells that might be trying to hide. I am blessed with the results thus far with treatment. My journey has not been one that might normally uh, be what you'd imagine with the fight against cancer. I am aware that others battle cancer on their own journey and that not every cancer responds well to treatment. As always, we'll keep you updated in my armed and dangerous fight against cancer.